Can you do pull-ups without a pull-up ball? And can you hit your back effectively at home without even doing pull-ups at all? Well, first let's take a look at the mechanics of the pull-up and how we can replace it or mimic the same movement. The pull-up is a closed chain vertical pull movement in which the body is suspended by the hands and gets moved up and down. As this happens, the elbows flex and the shoulders adduct and extend to bring the elbows to the torso. This pull movement engages several muscles of the upper body, but depending on the execution, you can focus on some of them more or less. Now how can you replace these very effective movements if you don't have a pull-up bar? Well, the first option is doing pull-ups on a door. However, to make this work you need a very stable door in the first place. Make sure that it gets supported on the ground to unburden the hinges and to stop the door from moving back and forth. If you set it up right, you have a solid way to do pull-ups. But keep in mind that the door doesn't offer the most comfortable grip and also limits the free movement of your arms. Another option is using two towels with a knot wedged into a closed door. Of course this has the same downsides when it comes to the limiting grip and arm movement, but can still be a good way to do pull-ups on a door. However, make sure that the door is still supported on the ground so that you don't accidentally break the hinges. The next alternative is doing pull-ups on a door frame, and this has two major downsides. First you need a very stable door frame, and second, this variation is even more dependent on finger strength as the other options before. So most of the time your finger strength will be the limiting factor while your back is not getting enough work to do. Other options are pull-ups on an open staircase or a steel beam, but to be honest, most of you probably don't have any of these at home, so this will only be an option in rare cases. The last alternative are floor pull-ups and they also have some very strong disadvantages. Sure, you mimic the pull-up movement pretty good, but there is very little resistance when compared to regular pull-ups. The only resistance that occurs is due to the friction between your body and the ground, so you are not pulling your complete body weight, but only a tiny fraction of it. Ok, so if all of these alternatives have some pretty strong disadvantages, what could you do instead? Well, there are many other ways to hit your back without using a pull-up bar. One of them is getting our home workout program on kellymove.com. This program focuses on no equipment workouts and includes follow along videos as well. So if you want to hit your complete body at home in under 45 minutes, make sure to check it out. Ok, so what other options do you have to hit your back without using a pull up bar? Well, you could get a pair of high parallels. This tool does not need a door frame or any work to install it. High parallels also allow you to do many back focused exercises and the most important of them are rows and their variations. Rows are pretty similar to pull ups for hitting your back and are a top tier back exercise. There are also many ways to adapt and vary the difficulty of rows so that you get the right challenge for your current level and abilities. If you don't want to spend any money on high parallels, it's also possible to use your furniture for doing rows. Here you either need two stable chairs, a table, and or a broomstick. Of course you should always make sure that your furniture is stable enough to support your body weight and that you also put it in the most stable position. Another way for implementing rows is by doing them on a door frame. However, this row variation is also very grip strength dependent and at the same time very limited in terms of the resistance profile. So it could be too easy for your back and quite challenging for your grip. A better option would be rows with resistance bands, no matter if you're doing them in a standing or sitting position, or as a bilateral or unilateral exercise. The difficulty of band resistant rows can vary depending on the thickness of the band and where you grab it. Resistance bands are also great for straight arm pull downs. Straight arm pull movements in general are very lat focused, but will also hit your traps, rear delts and rhomboids to some degree. These straight arm pull movements can also be done on chairs. 
In this closed chain exercise, you're using the resistance of your body while your arms are fixed on the chairs. This may look pretty easy on the first view, but is more of an intermediate or advanced exercise. To still make it work for beginners, you could make it easier by placing your legs on the ground. Another way to hit the lats are plank slide outs. Sure, this exercise is pretty focused on your abdominals, but the more you extend your arms, the more your lats and even the chest have to work. This is basically nothing more than a straight arm lat pull down, where the resistance is coming from your body weight, the leverage and the friction on the ground. Ok, finally we are taking a look at exercises that hit your back but have very low lat involvement. So these exercises are no real replacement for pull ups but more of an additional exercise in a complete back workout. Swimmers for example kinda mimic the pull up movement but still don't work your lats that much. This exercise will mainly work your spinal extensors and other muscles of your posterior chain like the glutes. However, you still hit the muscles of your middle back a little bit because you have to extend the elbows and bring your shoulder blades together. Arch ups are quite similar to that but still a bit different. Here you focus on the spinal extension even more because you keep your arms straight and don't extend them. The rear delt press on the ground focuses, as its name applies, on the rear delts but will also hit many other muscles of the back and the posterior chain. This exercise can be done as a static hold or as a dynamic exercise for reps. The higher you lift yourself up, the harder it gets. If this feels impossible by now, just press your elbows against the ground as much as possible. Once you are able to lift your body off the ground, you could even make it harder by extending your legs. Ok, let's sum it up. Yes, it is possible to hit your complete back without a pull-up bar, but you need at least some equipment or furniture to make it as effective as possible. I still first suggest checking your options for getting a stable and safe pull-up bar that doesn't destroy your door frame. If this is not possible, check other options like high parallels and resistance bands. Ok guys, I hope you've learned something new today. And if you're looking for a home workout program that requires no equipment, make sure to head over to kellymove.com and join our online courses today.